Hello there guys, so I'm going to here for another video. This is on the swivel, like on swivel. Basically, it is released today. You can go to Newgrounds and download it. So, yeah, just go to swivel. You can download it for Windows, it's 32 bit, 64 bit, or Mac. And yeah, it basically tells you down here how to use it as well. But I'll basically go over the basics as well. I haven't fully read this, but I sort of figured it out by playing around with it. So let me minimize that. And open up Swivel. This is what you'll see. Yep. So, yeah, that's what you'll see. Add a file. So let me just go into my Example Studios. You'll probably see some very disturbing names like that you don't want to see that this little test I was doing sorry about that what was this can't remember whatever I mean, spirit change and you can add more as well which will like turn into one big video so say you have like separate scenes and you want to make it into one video just do that add them it's all turned to one single video here you can change the render quality like how like how good the quality is frame range start from frame 1 to frame 30 305 change the video output names like browse we want to go desktop oh, file name spare change save that scale mode just how SWFs are scaled to fit the video dimensions huh well, don't really know what that is, but basically, it kind of scales the, the SWF to fit the video dimensions. Basically, like it says down here, transfer background renders the movie with an alpha channel. Right here, where, the, where it says video codec, you can basically change how the video is, like what um what type of video is going to be. So, let's say AVI, QuickTime. Yeah, QuickTime's right there. XVID, Windows Media Player. Change the bit rate right here. Higher values result result in increased quality and file size. You can add audio. Well, well, no, it'll keep the audio from the SWF, but you can make where there's no audio, or you can like add an external audio audio, audio track. I'm sorry guys, I'm having trouble speaking right here. So yeah, I can then browse for one, add it, and you change the audio channels from mono to stereo or stereo to mono. Change the audio codec to whatever you want. Change the audio bit rate. Yeah, the higher this is as well, the better the audio is going to be. But the, far, the bigger the file size is going to be. The overlay you can like add a watermark to it. So you can, if you enable that, you can add a watermark to it. So let me just add one. Images. Mm, I'll just add song go. Alright, and you can choose where you want it to go. I uh, don't know why it's not working. I guess it's uh, yeah. All right. So now I could like choose where I want it to go. So I'll have it selected to go up there. So like the upper left hand corner of my um, video, I'll go all the way up there, the center, upper right hand corner, lower right hand corner, anywhere you want. Change the size of it. So the whole video, or pretty small. You can change the trans transparency of it. So do that, and yeah, that's pretty much it. What do these do? Uh, basically telling you who made it. Oh yeah, basically tells you how to use it. I'm assuming. Yeah, wiki for swivel. So if I just click on this down here. I'll basically take you to the manual, basically for swivel. And then when you're done hit this button right here called convert and shazam should do it it's already done before so it's not really sure what's going on but I think it's lagging out because my Camtasia is running as well and no programs seem to work when Camtasia is running so yeah basically it guys swivels out so to go download it, it's free it's awesome and yeah peace guys